Ang, ang, ang. I asked him if he had a girlfriend. Are you single? No. You're not? Where is she? Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, I just thought he was really cute. Okay. Thank you. You want to get my number? No. No, no, no thank you. I woke up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he already knew what was going on as soon as he said my wife's over there he put his head down and act like he was on his phone for the rest of the video now i would understand that it's a joke but if you do that to the wrong person they might start loading the gun okay i used to be so nervous about like eating out alone but i just came here and got a chicken sandwich all on my own and i don't care judge me judge me loser you're a victim. Mm. Uh, cap open. Any bet this lady causes an accident. Watch, check this. You're going to see it live here, boys. This lady's going to cause an accident. Watch. 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 Uh, ready? Oh, she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I got it. Does your dad know you sell your body to strangers on OnlyFans for $50 and you only got one like? Congratulations, you played yourself. This space, this channel has become really negative for my mental health. My mental health has not been well. People have to understand that happiness is not a neutral state of being. You have to earn happiness. It takes a lot of hard work to be able to look in the mirror and say you like what you see, especially since humans aren't easily satisfied. If humans were easily satisfied, we would have never gotten this far. Negative emotions are just as important as positive emotions. Um, you definitely need assistance with literally everything that you do. Like you cannot do anything by yourself. <laughs> Dude, um, come on. But you definitely can't drive. A woman? I'm Mr. Body Catcher. Men will argue up and down that there's no way that Lizzo is in shape. Then turn on the TV and watch their favorite 300 pound offensive lineman play a two hour game. Not see the parallels. Sometimes you just gotta be quiet because you don't know what you're talking about. Like, Lizzo's not doing this at 300 pounds, bro. Lizzo's not running a 4 6 40 at 300 pounds. She's not doing a nine foot broad jump at 300 pounds. Like, what is wrong with y'all, bro? This one's 300. It's the same as it. No, it's not. She doesn't have a 32 inch vertical. Stop playing with me. She's not running the seven second, seven seconds in the three in the three cone drill. She's not. She's not doing that. Y'all women be so unrealistic, bro. Look at this. Lizzo's not doing it at 300, bro. This is 300 that works out every day. This is 300 getting paid millions of dollars to hit men, grown men. This man running faster than most running backs. What are you saying? And that's 300. It's not the same. The average lineman's also 6'5", while Lizzo's only 5'10". But the day I see Lizzo run a 4'7", that'll be the day I believe she's healthy. Maybe that's what we should do. If people genuinely believe she's healthy, let's have Lizzo do a combine. That's the new rule. If you want to be over 300 pounds and claiming to be healthy, you got to bench press 225 at least 18 times. Who gets more matches on Tinder, the most attractive man or the least attractive girl? So we decided to do a little Tinder experiment. Here we used photos of a male model, take a look, we a good looking guy. And here is a girl who's clearly not so good looking. So we wanted to see which one of these will get more Tinder matches. The male model got 112 likes in 24 hours. Pretty good. Let's compare it to the not so attractive girl. She got 474 likes what? in the same time span in the same city. So that shows you that the least attractive girl still does four times better than the most attractive guy. What if I genuinely want to involve other people in our sex life? If it's another girl, it's cool. But yeah. the girl has to be on your level, you get me? You can't be bringing no super fat bitch built like a snowman to me, bro. It's dead. I like big things. Yeah, if you're built like a snowman, it's, there's, there's thick, I like big and curvy. Super big and curvy. You could be 16, 17, 18 stone and curvy. But if you're built like a, like a raspberry, it's not happening, bruv. Can't just be out here built like a minion, bruv. Why is this? Why? Because I mean, my, that's gonna make me, love. No, because that's gonna make my dick soft, bruv. If your belly is bigger than your bum, come on now. What? That's some biggest loser shit now, bruv. How's your belly sticking out further than your bum? That's mad. You're built like Jeez. Tyson Fury, bruv. That's mad. Exactly, that's the rule. It's all about ratio. The rule for men is you can't be short and fat. Now with that being said, the rule for women is you can't be bad built and fat. You gotta pick one. And if you're a woman and you wasn't blessed with those gifts, you can't be out here built like an ice cream cone. We all know it's true, I'm just the messenger. 
for me seeing majority of my friends be married now and have kids like it's kind of been like a slap in the face where it's just like i thought we all were on the same page you know oh my god traitors we were all gonna be lonely forever strong queens Exactly. If you're a 50 year old woman with no family, what are you going to do? Either you're going to be a work slave or you're going to be sitting on the beach, probably alone because all your friends have families that they need to take care of. You don't want to be the super drunk old lady at the bar still trying to hit on college guys at 45 years old. Don't let the woman yes queen you into ruining your life. This is why you can't feel bad for people. So goof alert. The husband of the cop who was getting greased by the whole police station is saying that even though she did it behind his back, he is still sticking beside his wife. If you didn't know, about five cops got suspended and up to 15 more are being investigated after it was found out that everybody was getting a piece of um this female officer. I'm talking secret parties, inviting the wives to do curricular activities ultimately ended up getting caught by surveillance camera catching them in the um gym and workout stations in the police department she was doing all this under her husband's nose and this man literally just came out and said i'm still sticking beside her yo stand up man here just take my balls she took your balls i fight men i fight men and i fucking win no you don't no, you don't. There's not one man on this app whose ass you can whoop. Not one. Maybe, maybe there's like a quadriplegic on here. If you fought him in a yard near a swimming pool, I'd give you a 50% chance at best. But. What you gonna do? Why you got this big old TV in our room? Who's gonna check me? Your wife. I can't be checked. I'm uncheckable. Why is there a... 85 inch television in my bedroom. Now, you know what you always tell me, right? What? Baby, it was on sale. Uh, uh oh. So I got that it. That is not what I sale. tell you. That's not what I tell you. So it was on sale. So what's the purpose of 85? Is it going to fit on that wall? 85? <laughs> what? Is it going to fit on the wall? That's what I said. Probably get a bigger if there's a wheel, there's a way. Sir. Won't he do it? Uh, he did it. Who did it? I watched him. What? Who is him? You know who him is? Who? Him bless you all the time. Why me? Simple. Blessings on blessings. Simple don't listen. Blessings on blessings. Facts, if the Lord so happens to bless me with an 85 inch TV, we gonna make it fit. It don't even matter if it's too big for the wall, we'll get a new wall. You can tell they have a really good relationship. He's probably usually super responsible and she trusts his leadership. Men have six times the brain power that women do. Men excel in math and science. Then why don't they use it if they have it? Women didn't get us to the moon. How do you know that women didn't get us to the it's moon? It's public documents. They oh, do you, could it be possible that a woman told a man how to do it? And he just didn't put it in a document? Oh, I think so. Good possibility, isn't That's it? That's insane. No, it's not. That is absolutely insane. You're saying that women devised calculus, rocket propulsion, built the shuttle, could have, men could have, in the sack, perhaps, could have. how to build a rocket, and then good men went to NASA the next day and said, good you know, last night I was thinking this a is how A very good rocket. possibility. No, this is, you have an immature understanding. Honey, I am twice your age, and I am not immature. You claim that chauvinistic men should be shot. Figure of speech. However, women are the first always to rely on violence to solve their problems. We Where had, did you hear that? It's, this is not something I heard. Is that why all the prisons are full of men who molest The prisons are full of men raised by single mothers. We had an altercation the other day why in front of this by, house why are they with a woman who single, disagreed with what I said. Why are they raised by single women? Could it be because the men don't stick around to help raise the children? Well, they still do it poorly. Tell me what truffles taste like. What in the hell? Do you have, have you ever tasted anything? truffles? Yes. Okay, tell me what something tastes like you haven't ever tried that you've never tasted. It tastes good. What? Tell me what crap tastes like. You tell me what crap tastes like. Probably bad. I don't Probably need to bad. It until you've tasted it, you don't know. Yeah, no. Until you've tasted it, you're a smart person. Once you've tasted it, you're a moron for eating crap. What makes you think I haven't tasted crap? No. Well, you you probably have. Uh, you okay, know, and ha if I had, would that wouldn't that give me the authority to tell you the taste? No, that would make you a crap eater. For those that don't know, that guy's name is Dick Masterson, and he was a troll before the internet even knew what a troll was. He's really a comedian, but he would just get on shows like Dr. Phil as a male chauvinist and just cook people. He even wrote a book about it called Men Are Better Than Women. 
guy were to send me this, I would absolutely suck the life out of him because how f adorable is that? It's like, oh, babe, oh, I'm practicing for when it does happen for me. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Imagine being 30 years old with a son and some company pays you a couple grand to talk about what you're gonna do to some guy because he bought you a teddy bear. And all those women that was the ass queen of her when she was ruining her life are gone because they're now looking at the new young Instagram model. At this point, it seems obvious she kept the image because it was profitable. And now she's just doing whatever it takes to maintain the expensive life she's created for herself. Dating a girl with a kid it's like playing story mode on another dude's saved game. What the f I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. How horrible is it that the patriarchy society has made it that, you know, men age like fine wine, but what, women age like prunes, and when the menopause kicks, we're all dead. Like, it's so awful. I don't think that came from patriarchy. That came from women. Oh? And I'll say that because it's women who express desires for qualities that older men have. That's where it's like men age like fine wine. It's not men that said that, it's women. The sexiest man alive for like the past seven, eight years running has been men over the age of 40. George Clooney was, Brad Pitt, I think Idris Elba. These are all men over the age of 40. So the whole thing that men age like fine wine has always come from women. It's never come from men. Men are attracted to fertility and women are attracted to security. That's why Hugh Hefner at 89 had 30 Playboy bunnies. He was attracted to their fertility and youth and they were attracted to his resources and opportunity. Always say a good breakup is the best pre-workout in the world. He can use that negative emotion to justify sitting in the corner and crying, or he can use that negative emotion as fuel to go out and work on himself. Since I'm not Mormon, what would I have to do to pull you? Take missionary lessons and get baptized and get married in the temple with me. What if I serve in Chirac? What's Chir is that China? I ain't gonna lie, when she said missionary lessons, she almost got me. But then when she said get baptized and then get married, she reeled it back in. They had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Hey babe, where do you wanna go eat? I don't care. What do you want? Nazis. Oh, I've been thinking maybe we should trade this truck in. It's so loud. Like guzzles gas. Maybe we should just trade it in for an electric car. What are you thinking about? Oh, uh, just the fact that they attack men's testosterone because they know a generation of high team men could actually lead the world. And they attack women's femininity because they know high feminism could actually heal the world and build family units. Is, if I said my pronoun was hottest man alive, would if they, was, that was my genuine pronoun, would you feel obliged to call me that every day? Hey, mm -hmm. hottest man alive. No, you no, wouldn't, would you? No. So, no, in other I, words, I, I it all it. depends who decides and, what they want to be and called. And isn't that what we're discussing? The fact that I don't have to do that, that so that's okay. So why do we have to call, okay. call Sam Smith that? Because we're respecting their choice. So why don't you respect choice. me? That's my choice. When, when do I Hang have on, to call my you? choice. When do I have to call you? I want to be you? called hottest man alive. Hottest man alive. Yes, all, I, all the time. That is my choice, and I demand you respect it. Uh, I, I'm By the way, I can now hot. demand you call me as my pronouns hottest man alive, but you don't want to because you think that's ridiculous. The serious part of this But you'll call a single person they and that. You make it gender neutral to avoid discrimination. Not me. Not and me. when the five best artist nominations actually turn out to be men that year, yeah. that's discrimination yeah. against the, women. But no one was surprised. What about going back to having best women and best men, which was what old. Sam Smith they, they, wanted yeah. to stop, they right? They wanted it to stop. They wanted non-binary to get the same part of the pie as men and women. And guess what? Now he wants more women to be nominated. It's exhausting. exhausting. But, and it's true. It's exhausting. It's true because Somebody you... gay one minute, the non-binary the next, they want women removed from award ceremonies, they want gender neutral awards, and then when it all turns out that no women get nominated, that becomes sexism, then he, then they wants to have Take more women in. He's obviously list. confused. I, I, I'm not sure he would agree with you as defining him well, as confused. Well, he wouldn't, obviously. He, he, what do you he, mean he? Yeah, them, what do you mean they? they hey, Paula, she. Paula, hang on. <laughs> you just misgendered Sam Smith. I, I did, and I apologise. Can you please apologise to they? I, I apologise. Look Camera. I it's crazy that people actually feel bad about accidentally calling a man a he. By the way, my new pronouns are your majesty. Matter of fact, I'm gonna change them to ligma balls. Every day we stray a little bit further from God. Why are you built like a tree? Why are you built like a bitmoji? Emotional damage.
What, sorry? Rude. Oh, when I said there's an ugly woman at the back, you went, hey, he's talking to me. Yeah. What's, what's your name, madam? Kelly. Kelly, I'm gonna go soft on you, like every man that's ever seen you naked. What's more rude, a comedian telling a joke or ruining a show that people have paid hundreds of dollars for because you're offended? Why would you try to roast a guy that gets paid to roast people? Can I have some advice? Sure. Why do you think I only get rejected by ugly girls? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, do you want to go out sometime? Be cold. Would you approach me to ask me out if this is not a show? Yes, I think so. Are you guys being honest? If you're wearing those pants, yeah. The dude's too quick. They say the truth will set you free. They was hating on him the whole show. Look how they tried to trip my boy up in the next clip. Which one of us do you think is cuter? Ooh. In my eyes, you are both equal. That's the worst possible. Based on questions solely, I'm picking Connor. That means I look better. Yeah. Tell him about he snores really loud. Snores? Yeah. You know what that is? Yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> um, a one. A one? Yeah. So half of the population of guys is already done with you. Yeah, that's fine with me. I couldn't care less. Have you never heard of standards? Yeah, that's... No, you have to have I don't have any. Standards. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you guys here, that's why. Plant B? Mm, I take a bunch of those, actually. No, beach, plant, uh, plant the ball! <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch, plant the ball! <laughs> Man, I can't even see the screen anymore. <laughs> What kind of person walks around doing that? Imagine if that was a guy walking around handing out free tickets to the meat show. He'd be on a list. There's been a lot of <coughs> stuff lately, but don't forget that I'm the one that made my name and escape from Tarkov my Google Voice number. Hello. Hi. I take it that is your phone number in the Tarkov lobby? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, nice. Well, I'm a gamer. I may not associate with women. Have a nice day. Okay. <laughs> uh, hello? Nope. Okay. Hello? Hi. Are you aware that your phone number is a name in a game? Yeah, that's me. Oh, oh. Okay, well, I can't associate with women, so I'm gonna head on out. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Hello? Hi. Hi, um, I found this number on an online gaming, uh, website. It's... Yeah, that's me. Oh, f <laughs> The girl, I can't talk to girls, sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> Hello? Hi, you called me? You're on Tarkov, right? Yep, that's me. Alright, I think I called you once before and then hung up. Yeah, a lot of people do that, they get scared. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you know gamers, we can't talk to women. Yeah, I do. There's this person in this game where their name is your phone number. Yeah, that's my name in game. Oh my god, it's a fucking woman. Okay. Do you look back at some of your old lyrics given the climate of what's happening today with women's empowerment and be like, damn, that was kind of fucked up that I said nope. that? No, no, hell no, that was me. I love every motherfucker, man, fuck them hoes. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. I always think it's dumb when they say women belong in the kitchen because how else is the rest of the house going to get cleaned? <laughs> Got him. Do you think that men are better leaders than women? Yep. <laughs> why do you think that? It's just a belief. We all believe in things, don't we? No, tell us why. <laughs> oh boy. My man won v 7 ing <laughs> We're just really good leaders. Look at the political world of today. The world's f***ed, bro. Yeah, the world is fucked. Now imagine if a woman was in charge. Oh, God. If you're gonna blame men for all the bad things in society, then you have to blame men for all the good things in society. There's not one single civilization in human history that's been built and governed by women. Trust me, if there was, we'd never hear the end of it. Live with this person really quick. I'll just do it. Why not? Hey, hey what's up? up? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, I'm alone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my god. I'm... It's like so sad, right? I guess so. Are you alone too, then? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Are, did you cry earlier, too? Yeah, I was definitely crying. Yeah, it's it's an emotional day for a lot of people, and um, we just have to get through it, you know. You know, you know what helps? Alcohol. Have ever, no, have you ever ridden a horse before? Yes. Come ride this horse. 
Oh man. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. You know, you know, that was. You know, that was interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! I, I actually, I'm, this is really awkward. I'm trying to, I couldn't figure out how to end to disconnect with the. She tried to prank him and he pulled the reverse Uno card. It ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. No, but in all seriousness, I have no idea how he turned into a unicorn. That's impressive. Like you don't deal with women that play games. Mm. But wasn't that thing on your board just like literally your game plan? It's a structure and how I approach women. It's not a game. It's a okay. strategy. I, I would There's consider no... it a game. That's why I would block him because I hate games. Yeah, but I wouldn't chat to you anyway. Two, so you need to stop saying that. But... Two, the women on your roster. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm wondering who's triggered here. The woman on your roster. <laughs> you. Me. <laughs> you. I, I would, definitely am not hell triggered. talking about how you're going to block me. I, what? I definitely <laughs> am not triggered. How you going to try to reject a guy that ain't even hitting on you? That's like trying to fire somebody that ain't even applying for the job. Oh, don't bully me. Bro, leave me alone, bro. I got black, I got white, what you want? Stop bullying for me, bro. Uh, Please. <laughs> I'm outside of Goza, I've been, been a fan of. You could call him mean if you want to, but that looks like Lil Tecca. If you don't know what Lil Tecca looks like, here's a picture. I think I think a lot of women keep trying to understand a man through their eyes. A man okay. ain't chasing after no hoe. He wants to have sex with one because she's mastered sexuality, so he wants to see what that's and why like. why is she going on trips? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, who, you got to ask what man you talking about. See, what, see, most of the time when sisters are comparing men Everything about men is coming from the television. So they looking at athletes who take strippers. They look at actors who take strippers. All these wealthy guys on television, yeah, they take strippers. The average man is not doing that. But women only get, they, they get all their cues from pop culture. And that's the problem. Men are not in tune with pop culture the way y'all is. You watching Love and Hip Hop, you watching videos, you watching these TV shows. So your concept of a man is synthetic. It has nothing to do with reality. And then you try to take that synthetic reality and apply it to real men. Men only, when men unify, we usually when men unify, we we unify over something that's beneficial to not just us, but the whole community. Like I've seen a million man march. I've never seen a million gangster march. I've never seen a million crip march or blood march. But you know what I did see? I've seen a slut walk. Yes, we, we, we unify with different fans. things. I post thirst traps for the ladies, not the men. I'm not your boyfriend. You ain't got to lie to me like that. If she's posting thirst traps, she belongs to the streets. Newsflash, she values other men's validation more than she values your relationship. You hecka beautiful. I'm trying to take you out sometime. No. Oh, no, no, not you. I'm talking to you. Oh, you, okay. you hecka beautiful. Oh, say nice. Congratulations. You played yourself. I ain't gonna lie, when he walked up, he was definitely looking at the first girl. But as soon as plan A failed, he went straight to plan B. W Riz. My man is an animal. Rizly Bear. All right, Twitter, roast me. Let's hear some stuff I haven't heard before. You're pretty. That's the roast? You asked for something you've never heard before. You're a victim. Mm. Hi, I'm Simon. I'm 27. And I bet I can touch your belly button from the inside. I said I'm full of Buck, buck, buck. Little getting dug out. Raw! Raw! I don't know who he is, but this man needs a scholarship. Todd, wide receiver, Florida State University. Go Gators. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. This is your daily reminder to get your ass in the gym. It's officially 2023 and I refuse to contribute to the pussification of humanity. It's time to turn that dad bod into a father figure. And if you don't want to go to the gym, I get it. The gym isn't for everybody. But neither is having a healthy heart, having an overall better quality of life, and being an absolute sex symbol. Your body is so amazing that you can eat yourself into obesity for 10 years and with just 7 months of discipline, you can be an entirely different different person so make sure you get in the gym you owe it to yourself how many people have you slept with um i've only slept with you oh my god are you being serious really yeah i'm serious everyone else kept me up all night <laughs> she took your balls remember this girls 
none of you can be first, but all of you can be next. <laughs> Worst human invention ever made. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the f it. Wait, why is that the worst invention ever made? It's it's kind of self-explanatory. It kind of teaches men that like women are just f lights, and like when men use f lights too much, it like kind of ruins their perception of women and like the touch of a woman. So like, I think it might be the worst invention ever made. Do you do, do you not believe in like women using f stuff too? No, I mean they can. Huh? Put people like yourself into a pop video celebrating that kind of weight. And I ask you honestly, to be honest with yourself. Honestly, if you were really concerned about people being obese and representing something bad, you would take yourself off the air because you're not exactly slim yourself. Well, right? okay, I'm 220 pounds, I'm six foot one. Right, you're five foot four and you're 380 pounds. So there is a difference. I'm not morbidly obese. Right, but you're right? still I'm actually fat reasonably too. healthy. You're still fat I'm reason too. I understand what she's trying to say, but there's levels. And five four, 380 is crazy. Ray Lewis is six one and 250 pounds. Shaq is seven one, 324 pounds. Allen Iverson is six foot 165 pounds. That means if Allen Iverson ate Allen Iverson, she would still be 50 pounds heavier. What you want is you want people to lie to you. You want to live in a delusion because it doesn't matter how much you call people fat phobic if you're built like a bag of dirty laundry people aren't gonna find you attractive about 24 25 sexual partners Ooh. i have had three there you go she's okay. an angel well, what makes you think you might be good at this thing? i'm currently a stripper and i've like filmed porn before but i don't include that in my body count so i just said you was an angel what did you do yeah they had us the first half i'm not gonna lie wait you only got us two tricky sandwiches Oh, okay. Wait, is turkey from grilled chickens or roosters? <laughs> Look, that's fine with me. Everybody makes mistakes. You ain't gotta be a zoologist. As long as you're loyal and you're willing to reciprocate value, I'll buy the rooster sandwiches. That feels absolutely amazing to finally spread my legs and be the person that I know I am musically. You just said spread your legs. I just said, spread, <laughs> spread my wings musically. What do you mean by that? Expert marriage facts. My wife treats me like a god. Sure do. She pretends like I don't exist and only talks to me when she wants something. No dinner for you. You mean burn offerings? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. You can always tell how happy your marriage is by how well they can take banter. Because if you can't take a joke, there's no way you're going to be able to take constructive criticism. You're a victim. <laughs> This creepy 24 year old won't stop snapping me. You're welcome. I feel like that's mean. So? I mean, it's not my fault that he's in my phone being weird. No, absolutely not. You shouldn't have to deal with any creepy dudes in your phone. Yeah. So block them. It's really that simple. If you're a dude and you're doing that, you gotta stop. You simping is messing up the game. But women will complain about guys that message them every morning and how annoying it is, but if it's so annoying, you can just block them. The truth of the matter is, when people become addicted to attention, any attention is good attention. It's my coconut and pomegranate celery root salad. And what's cooked on the plate? Mm, the nuts are toasted. The nuts are toasted? Yes. Oh, fuck me. We've toasted nuts for 29 minutes and then grated a coconut. It's fine, as far as rabbit food goes. Look, you can say whatever you want about Andrew Tate, but anytime a man says that he likes male opinionated content, whether that be Andrew Tate or Kevin Samuels, he's always told that he's an incel. But the guys at the other protest have blue hair and the guys at this protest have girlfriends. The women at the other protest have pronouns and the women at this protest have male guidance in their life. 
At the other protest, they say it's okay for men to be weak. At this protest, they believe it is your responsibility as a man to be as strong, competent, and capable as possible. If you're watching this content, you've probably already decided which kind of guy you want to be. But now it's time to take action, and it's your duty to become the guy that you want to be. To be the man that your wife respects. To be the man that your kids look up to. To be the man that society is going to depend on to save the day when the time comes. As long as your breathing is never too late, make a plan and get started.